everyone and welcome back to Annie's Kitchen. Today I thought we would film three recipes. They are all from my accomplished cut recipe ebook. God, that sounded like a mouthful to say. So basically, accomplished cut comes with a 52 recipe ebook. They are all really high protein recipes, all really simple to make. And I thought today I would show you three of them. I actually thought this would be a perfect video to include in my comeback series, just because I personally find that healthy recipes and healthy eating makes up such a big part of a, I guess, like a fitness journey or just staying on track, and especially being really really prepared with recipes, having healthy ingredients in your house. So I thought today I would show you three different types of recipes. One is more of like a snack one. We've got one that I use as like a lunch. It could also be a dinner, but I always see it as more of a lunch recipe. And one that's a really, really great dinner recipe. So we're gonna start off with the pesto pasta with tuna and almonds. Now, I just think this is such a great, really easy, high protein lunch recipe. The recipe in the ebook is actually for four portions. So you can either have that for yourself throughout the week or make it for a lot of people. I guess, but it's just such a simple one. And I find, especially working from home, that when it comes to lunchtime, I just want something that I can throw together really easily, but it's still gonna be really nutritious and help me towards my goals. It's Monday today and I'm super excited because we started the first accomplished challenge, which is so fabulous. I went through all the entries over the weekend and just some of your stories are honestly amazing. If you didn't have time to sign up for this challenge or I don't know, it just wasn't the right time for you because I know to commit something for six weeks, if you know you've got, you know, other things that are gonna get in the way of it is quite difficult. We're gonna run another one probably in January, but I'll keep you all really posted. But I'm just so excited to have a little bit of newfound motivation. So it's gonna be fabulous and it's put me in a very good mood to start the week. Right, so recipe number one, you will need some pasta, you will need some tuna. I actually use a little bit more tuna just for me personally because I love to have a whole tin of tuna than I've put on the recipe. Because I thought if I included a whole tin on the recipe, some people would be like, this is a bit much. But I love to get loads of protein at each meal just because I struggle to get it in between really. We've also got almonds going in there for some healthy fats and pesto as well, and some green beans for some really great nutrients. First up, we are gonna weigh out 300 grams of pasta. This, by the way, is from my really well-organized pantry shelf, which I'm working on. I'm gonna show you properly when it's all ready, but I'm just obsessed with these containers and my little label maker as well. So 300 grams. One eternity later. Come on. Okay, so I've boiled the kettle already and I'm just gonna put that on to cook. And then we are just gonna chop the green beans. Okay, we're actually gonna use a whole pack of these because it is for four portions. And I'm just gonna take the weird end off them and then chop them in half, pretty much. So you're just gonna set the green beans aside and chop the onions up. Onions? Almonds. <laughs> Definitely meant almonds. So we're just gonna roughly chop these up, not into too small a bits. This chopping board actually doesn't stick to my surface very well. Be careful, honey. Right, so that is perfect. I am just gonna grab you guys on the camera and bring you around here so I can show you the next step. So the next step, I'm just gonna heat this pan, add a little bit of cooking spray, and I'm just gonna add in the green beans to cook for a little bit, just to soften them. They don't need to be cooked through too much. Cut the cameras. Oh my God, a bit steamy. These green beans have been cooking for a few minutes now, so I'm just gonna add in the almonds just to get them a little, I don't know, toasted, I guess. Give that a stir around and it's almost ready for me to add the pasta in. You'll see that I just drained the pasta, drained all that water off and gave it a little rinse as well. So now we are gonna add in the cooked pasta. Turn the heat off and add in a lot of pesto. So I think this is like about three quarters of a jar. This is actually a reduced fat pesto, which I found from Tesco, which I also really like the flavor of. And just give that all a big stir. So last thing, we're gonna be adding in some tuna. These are just literally pins of tuna, which is so easy to use. Such an easy protein source. And a second one as well. You can really add as much or as little of this as you want. 
I've just seen we've only actually had two tins in the cupboard or I would have done really three or four tins, but two we'll have to do today. And we're just gonna mix all of this in together. So here we have it, the pasta pasta with tuna, almonds, green beans, and pesto. And I'm gonna put two portions in a Tupperware for tomorrow and two in a bowl, which we can have for lunch today. Pesto pasta with tuna and almonds. Smells Delicious. <laughs> so next recipe we're gonna be making is the salmon teriyaki with green beans and sweet corn rice. We are gonna be making a few changes. We're actually gonna be using a packet of rice rather than boiling rice just because Elliot already had one of these in the flat. And then we are gonna be using some tennis and broccoli instead of the green beans just because I used all the green beans in the last recipe. For all of the recipes in accomplished cut, you can really switch about the ingredients. So for the frozen fruit, for example, you can change blueberries for raspberries, for strawberries or whatever. And for vegetables, just generally anything that's kind of similar-ish will be absolutely fine. I love this recipe because it's sort of like an Asian style recipe. I love teriyaki sauce. This is one of my absolute lockdown favorite recipes. I just think it's just a little bit more interesting, adds a bit more flavor. This could actually also be a meal prep recipe recipe but I tend to just make it on the day just for a dinner. So we're going to start by preparing all of the vegetables. So first of all we're going to chop the broccoli and we're just going to take the ends off and actually give this a little bit of a rinse just because it's looking a bit dirty. Don't chop too much off the ends, you can't eat the whole thing. I've chopped a little bit too much off. Yeah, try and waste as little as you can. And like I said, we will give that a bit of a rinse. I'm actually gonna add a spring onion to this just because I have them in the fridge from my odd box, which I get delivered each week, which is sort of rescued fruit and veg, so things that were gonna go to waste. So, thought we'd just add in that with a little bit of extra. Again, that has loads of dirt on, so I'm gonna give these a rinse and then I'll be back. Okay, so that's all clean. I'm just gonna slice the spring onion up into small pieces. I actually love spring onions. They just add so much flavor to everything. These are quite big ones as well, so I'm just gonna add one. You can actually keep the ends of your spring onions as well. I don't know how many of you seen the Instagram reel that I did, but you can put this in water and it will actually form a whole other spring onion, which is really, really cool. Okay, so that is the spring onion and broccoli done. I am just gonna set that aside. And then on a new chopping board, I'm gonna start preparing the stuff for the sauce. So the sauce I'm gonna to mix together in a mug just because I find that's easiest. And we have got garlic, lime, and ginger all going into the sauce. And then we are adding soy sauce and maple syrup as well. So first of all, we're just gonna chop the ginger. Oh, this is garlic, not ginger. <laughs> just into kind of small-ish pieces. Watch your fingers when you do this because it's quite flimsy. Okay, so that is the garlic done. And then for the ginger, you can either grate it or chop it. I'm actually gonna chop it today. And I'm gonna chop off a good chunk just because I love my teriyaki sauce, quite gingery. So I'm just gonna grab a mug and start adding the ginger and the garlic in because this is gonna make up the sauce. And then with the lime, we can just squeeze that straight in. So we've just got half a lime going in. And then we've got soy sauce and the maple syrup going in as well. I just kind of eyeball this, but the exact measurements are written out on the recipe. So there we go for soy sauce. And then this is actually the Skinny Foods maple syrup, but regular maple syrup will do. Okay, and then we'll just give that a little stir. And that is the sauce ready to go. So next I'm just gonna chop the salmon. The reason I've got this in such a big fillet is because a fish mango came to my door the other day and I actually bought loads of fish with him, but I would usually just buy this from like Sainsbury's or Tasco or Aldi or whatever. And they kind of come pre-chopped. But today I'm just gonna chop this into three bits and I'm gonna use two of them. It's a little bit big. The only other two things that I haven't mentioned is sweet corn, which I already have in a little Tupperware just because it was left over from the other day. 
and then sesame seeds. So there are kind of two ways that you can make this recipe. So you can either use the oven method and bake your salmon or just do it all in one frying pan. And today I'm just gonna do it all in one frying pan just to save a little bit of washing up. We're gonna start by going in with some cooking spray. I've just put this pan on kind of a medium high heat and then I'm adding the broccoli just because that will take the longest to cook. So next I'm just gonna add the salmon fillets to the pan. and leave those to cook until they are very nearly cooked through. Right, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to hear my voice over the sizzling now, but next we're gonna add spring onions and the sweet corn. And then add in the rice. And then finally, we can start to add the sauce. This will sizzle. Ah. So just to top this recipe off, I am gonna sprinkle some sesame seeds all over and this just adds a little bit of an extra crunch. So here we have it, a delicious Asian inspired salmon teriyaki dish with very flavorsome rice to go with it. So the last recipe is the cinnamon roll protein smoothie from the ebook and I absolutely love this recipe. I think it just really spices up actually literally spices up a protein smoothie. So we're gonna start off with 240 milliliters of almond milk. And just put it straight into your blender cup. I think it's really important to do the milk first because I find otherwise all of the extra stuff just sticks. We're then gonna go in with two scoops of, ooh, just got that everywhere, of protein. This is the vanilla protein. Then a cup of ice. I think the ice personally is really, really important in this recipe. A whole banana. And then finally a teaspoon of cinnamon. And I like it really cinnamony, so just add a little bit extra if you do. Obviously, if you don't like cinnamon, you could just skip this step out. So then just screw your lid on and then whack that in the blender. And here we have it, a delicious protein smoothie. This honestly tastes so good. It's actually one of my favorite desserts to have at the moment as well. Oh, isn't that perfect? Just top it off with a straw. I love it. So, so good. Honestly, if you aren't a fan of just having a protein shake by itself, give this a try because it is just so, so delicious. So those are three really simple, healthy, delicious recipes that I have been loving at the moment. I'm sure you guys will do as well. I would love to see your creations if you make the recipes. Make sure to tag me in them on Instagram so I can give them a share as well. Accomplished Cut will be linked in the description box below in case you guys wanna get your hands on them. But thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you have enjoyed it. There are gonna be lots more videos in this little series. So let me know what you guys would find really helpful as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.